Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And today, I'm excited as always, because you know I'm easily excitable, um, but I'm gonna get to try the new paint pot kits. I am super excited because recently I saw an ad for paint plots kits. Now, you know, in the past, I have done several videos on paint plot, like even over the last year and a half uh, or two years that I've been doing paint by number, they were one of the first companies I ever ordered from. And I've mentioned them in many of my legit or scam videos. They have stayed on my legit list the entire time. And so when I saw they had new kits, I actually reached out to Beck at paint plot and I asked them if they would be interested in collaborating with me and sending me their new kits so that I can test them out and compare them to prior kits. See the changes, see the packaging, etc, etc. So what I have in front of me are four separate paint by number painting kits. I want to make sure that I talk about each one and I'm gonna swatch the paints on each one, but I'm gonna to try to keep this as quick as possible. And you guys know that in my vocabulary, that means let's make it take 20 minutes, but I'm really gonna try y'all, really. So the contents of each kit is gonna be consistently the same as the other kits. So like the canvas, the, in, the uh, tools that I have, all that's gonna be the same. The only difference will be the paint swatching. So then I will do that off camera and come back for each of the paintings and talk about their swatches. Okay, so that's the plan. Y'all know how my plans go. They don't go. So I don't know which painting is which until I pull them out, but let's start with this one. So they have a new box for protecting the contents. Hallelujah, right? We'd love that. Before we open it, let's talk about the box and the packaging just a little bit. I know people are like rolling their eyes, what? But a lot of these companies are going to branded, you know, kits, which I love because to me, that means we're gonna see this company around for a long time, hopefully. They have instructions on the back, very simple instructions for you that are new and need a little bit of help and then some helpful tips here. And so that is always a nice thing. Let's get this out. I don't know, why do you think I chose this one, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna guess. It's colorful, it's rainbow, um, hello. All right, so these are the other contents. So let's lay them out here like this. I have a rolled canvas on a thick foam weapon. I mean, I'm sorry, you know how I do. <laughs> My uh, grandsons are gonna love this one. Anyway, it's very thick and it really gives this canvas amazing stability. There is no bending this at all. So no damage in shipping. And the fact that it's in the protected box means it's kind of double protected, you know what I'm saying? So um, let's look at the frame. So here are the frame components, and I am going to put one of these frames together, you guys. I have told you this forever. I'm gonna just check it out and see how it, you know, how easy or hard or whatever. I don't think it's hard at all. I have not done it, but I feel like we can figure this out together. So I think I'm gonna do this frame in a separate video, but each one of these kits that I ordered comes with the frame. Now, we're gonna take a look at this canvas. Very, very nice canvas and easy to read, small numbers, and this black lines and black numbers, and a reference guide. Hello, everyone. What's our favorite thing? Say it with me, reference guide, yay. Okay, yeah, right. coffee, y'all, just woke up, had my coffee. All right, look at the size of my foam sword, like, bam. I could definitely do some ultimate damage with this, and it doesn't hurt at all. I don't know what it is, but the louder those foam swords sound when they hit, the better the children like it. I, I just don't even know. Anyway, so let's talk about the canvas. It's got a great canvas texture to it. I know everybody's going to ask. Everybody asks me. I get the question nine times a day. Will I just sew this canvas? What's the answer, you guys? Say it with me. I gesso every canvas, okay? Clear gesso. Now, that doesn't mean it wasn't already prepped and primed with white gesso before they printed these numbers and everything, but the clear gesso gives it tooth. Do not sand the gesso. You're defeating the entire purpose. I have lots of videos on that subject, 
please feel free to go view them. Those will pretty much answer every question you have, but let's keep moving. This will require one or two layers of gesso. I will know after I do the first layer whether it needs a second. I never add a second if I do not have to. That's extra work and I don't have time. So anyway, beautiful, nice quality, medium thickness. So it's not the super thin, but it is a nice um, thickness for stretching. So that's good. I like that a lot. We have our colored photo reference, which we all love. And I know some kids don't come with it. I don't get mad if I don't get one uh, because I keep all of the paintings that I buy, I keep a photo in an album on my phone so I can go back as a reference and look. But again, it's like that one video I did where I said, don't expect this photo to look exactly like the screen on your computer or the paints that come out because all the things that are required to make a paint by number are not necessarily calibrated the same. So blah, blah, blah. We won't go into that. That's another video. All right, so our three paint brushes with our hanging hardware for the back of our frame. And then we're gonna have our paint pots. You'll notice extra of number one because that is our background. And we have all these beautiful colors. Hello, beautiful colors. How are you today? Hallelujah. Look how pretty this is. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All right, so I'm gonna come back at the end after I swatch these paints. Let's move to canvas number two and see what we have in that package. DIY frame again, and I'm just making a little stack over here of those so that I can put them together at some point. I'm gonna store them without being put together to, the, to begin with so that they don't take up a lot of space. But as soon as I go to work on these, I think I'm gonna put them together and stretch them. All right, trickiest thing I've had to do all day was taking that tape off there. <laughs> okay, so this painting is going to be spectacular. It is gonna be this. And what, what? You know, this is one of those guys that I believe that even though the sky has little sections of color, I don't think it's gonna require a lot of blending. In fact, once I finish this piece, if I look at it from three feet or further back and it looks okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. But this would be a very easy background to blend if you felt like you had to blend. All right, same thing here, guys. Beautiful canvas, same exact quality reference guide and let me open the paints and we'll look at the colors real quick and then I'm gonna to move to the next painting. So look at this rainbow palette. I mean, look at the pastels in this and then you've got these beautiful deep blues and oh, loving it. All right, so I'm gonna come back and talk about this palette after I have swatched it. Let's move on. So this painting is gonna be this design. Now it is the one of Paris. It's very similar to the one I have purchased before from Paint Plot that I've been loving and it's been a work in progress for a while. I've shown it in one of my prior videos for Paint Plot um, and just a couple walking down the street kind of thing. But this kind of reminds me of that. And what I loved about this one was that it had more of like a vintage background with the little pops of color, which you know, the black and white with a pop of color has become very popular. And I feel like this vintage look is gonna be just as much so. So we got our reference guide. And again, y'all, we're talking about consistency here. Our photo reference and our paint. So there we go, beautiful palette. We're gonna swatch this one. All right, let's move this one aside. So this is this painting. What do we see? Reference guide. Beautiful, same consistent canvas. Photo reference. So you guys, what are you noticing right now when you're watching me do this? I'm noticing consistency. They're bringing us kits that are being protected during shipping. They're giving us colorful photos as a reference. They're giving us printed reference guides. They're giving us good paints. And again, we're gonna test the paint. That is my primary focus on a piece is the quality of the paints. So I'm gonna do that, of course, but I am seeing consistency and that is what we want. The other thing I didn't mention was the time frame. They have a new shipping partner 
and they ship these out. And I want to say it's been about two weeks, maybe three, because my box got stuck in the U.S. So this was supposed to come on November 30th, according to the USPS, the Postal Service here, and they didn't deliver it until Saturday. So very disappointed, but not disappointed in Paint Plot because they got it here fast. It got into my country, but the Postal Service kind of dropped the ball. And, uh, you know, it's definitely not Paint Plot's fault. But anyway, let's go ahead and swatch these paints. You guys, when I come back, I'll have all four kits swatched for us and we're gonna discuss paint quality, paint texture, and all of that jazz. All right, I will see you back shortly. All right, so I am back and we're gonna discuss these swatches for the paints, one kit at a time. So let's start with our Fantasy Bird. That's this one right here and the paints were gorgeous. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a general overall opinion of these paints. They're very good. They are extremely opaque. There were only a few that I ran into in all four kits that were not completely opaque. I don't think I had any transparent paints at all, just maybe more semi-opaque. Um, I will talk about this one. This one might have the least opaque of all, but the Fantasy Bird, it's just got some really beautiful paint colors and good coverage. Next is gonna be the Misty Mountain Sunrise, another fabulous rainbow palette. Look at all these delicious colors. Everything looks so good. Overall, beautiful paints and a fabulous palette. Now, let's talk about the Streets in Paris. Very natural, muted palette, gorgeous piece. And that's this one right here. And the paints were beautiful as well. Even the lime green is semi-opaque. It's not transparent. So uh, I only had a couple that were semi-opaque. That's this one and the number one. And finally, our Venice Sunrise. This one's gorgeous. So this one is a very colorful piece. This photo I don't think does it justice as much as the original online, but the palette is fabulous. And there, were, there was only this yellow that was a little bit of a transparency issue. And you guys know that lemon yellow is always tricky. This golden yellow was a lot better coverage, not 100% coverage, but better coverage. And the light one is also the same way. Once it dried, it was a little bit, you know, semi-opaque and same with the white. But again, y'all know if, with, you know, with white, I can go in and replace that, no problem. Um, one of the things I had thought about when I got this piece was painting it very much like I have done with the Norgeson pieces because it's the same style with that original oil painting look. And I thought this would be really gorgeous if I don't smooth it and I just put the paint down pretty thick. So this one might be something I play around with a little bit, but the paint palette is fabulous. And you guys, that is it for today. Um, I am gonna come back with a lot of paint plot videos in the future. And so you guys be watching for that. In addition, I'm gonna be bringing you another video right after this one. That is their new diamond paintings. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything because right over here is a little button. And if you click that little button, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna subscribe and I'm gonna love it. And I'm gonna really appreciate it too. So you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks as always for watching and I will see you back soon.